Hey everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, we are talking about the new RTX 4090. Now I've seen lots of the synthetic benchmarks and gaming benchmarks, but I'm interested in Unreal Engine and I hope you are too. So I'm gonna show you some real world experience with some of my biggest and heaviest projects that I've worked on. And we're gonna be comparing my previous 3090 to the new 4090. So let's get started. All right, for the technicals, everything is at 100% screen resolution on a 1440p monitor and set to cinematic scalability. So here's our first project here. This is called Waterworld, and it has a huge cinematic ocean that is extremely intensive. And you can see here almost nearly three times the frame rate. Um, we're talking from five for FPS to about 15 FPS. Huge building tops, lots of stuff going on in this scene here. Next here, we have another Lumen scene, and this has got tons of foliage in it, has a super high poly vehicle in the foreground, some animations, some Niagara systems going on, and you can see just about double the frame rate on this particular scene here, which is still pretty impressive. Here I have my submission for the Moving Meditations Challenge. This is actually done in ray tracing. Um, and you can see here, it's about double the frame rate. I expected a little bit more with all the RT cores, but this is another cinematic ocean scene, tons of effects going on, tons of Niagara. There's also some Niagara fluids going on in here. Um, so still pretty impressive. You can see where it's gone from five FPS to about 10 or 12. Our next scene here is actually a Niagara fluid water simulation. And you can see here that we're getting just over double the frame rate. So you might notice how the water simulations are acting a little bit different. So of course it's real time, so they're not gonna be exactly the same, but you'll see how the lower frame rate actually causes some weirder um, splashes and inconsistent effects. This is the exact same scene running on both cards. And here you can see it's almost three times the performance off the new 4090. Here we have a hair simulation. This is using the Ornichix plugin, and right here is running about a million hairs on this one character, real time, doing this dance animation here. And you can see it's easily double to a little bit over the frame performance and um, pretty impressive, again, for simulations. Next, what we're gonna do is talk about path tracing. And you can see here, path tracing is more than twice as fast than it was on the 3090. This is incredibly impressive. Right here, we're running at about a thousand samples and um, full cinematic quality and at 100% screen space. And you can see it just blows the water out of the 3090 and render speeds in path tracing in Unreal Engine. This one here, I'm gonna do the same thing. This is another path tracing situation. Lots of stuff going on in this scene here. And I'm gonna fast forward this one 2X just to show you how much faster it is going still two times the performance, which is incredible on the new 4090. So there you have it. Several situations in Unreal Engine using the new 4090, and it is incredibly impressive. Um, twice the performance, if not more, as you've seen on most everything, whether it be Lumen, ray tracing, simulations, um, or even path tracing, which I use a lot. This is a game changer, and I get it. It's super expensive, and it's not for everybody out there. But if you can afford it, this is some real world examples of how well it is and how good it is over just about anything else on the market. So thanks for watching the video. I appreciate it. I hope you guys like it. Hit thumbs up, subscribe, all the good stuff, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.